dog is unable to speak through the small bag he holds in his mouth. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. All I know is I thought of you when I saw it. Doing? Hold up before they see you, Magresham! Look, down there. That lot are swarming all over the bridge. I don't know what they want, but it can't be good. I'm going to find another way around. You ought to do the same. I doubt a fight against them would go your way. Nobody. Just another harassing fool trying to stay alive. There's plenty of us around. What? Just follow you around? I go my own way. Alone. Rag! That's it. I'm getting out of here. Drop your weapons! I'll feed your innards to the ants before I do that, Istik. This is y your last chance! No, look up. That was your last chance, Istik. Now burn! Stop wasting time, Beretha. You're not here to play with the locals. Of course, Kithrak. We merely sought to... No excuses. Question, kill, then move on. Find the weapon. Our queen watches us. 
fail her at your peril. Stay clear of those gifts. Even the Blade of Frontiers has his limits. what people mean when they talk about butterflies in their stomach. Did you want something? If you're sure. Fine. I'll be here whenever you rediscover your taste in company. Easy prey you make, walking right within my blade's embrace. These creatures are so simple to ensnare, Beretha. You mule too much about your task. Forgiveness, Kithrak. And as for you, tell me, why shouldn't I run you through this instant? for lesser insults. Slowly. But your bravery amuses me. Finally, I find a wolf in a world of lowing cattle. You may live for the moment. Now, we seek a weapon taken from a vessel that fell from the sky. Understand, Istik? You suddenly feel a strange anxiety take hold. Not your own, but that of the artifact you carry. Somehow, it's afraid you attune your mind to it. The artifact does not want to fall into the Gith Raider's hands any more than it does the Absolute followers. Help us find it and I will leave your blood beneath your skin unspilled. Of course, obedience is your only hope. Now stand still. He begins to move his hand in a quick flurry of gestures. You realize he's casting Detect Thoughts. even approaching a useful thought in that skull. I ought to just kill you. A worthless kill. No sport. If this one was even slightly useful, I might spare her. Unlikely, but it costs me nothing to spare your sorry life. 
Very well, Istik. Seek out survivors from the ship that crashed on this wretched world. Bring me their heads. Bring me the weapon. If you succeed, the reward will be great. Now go. Your parasite wriggles. Blazel sees your memories of your confrontation with Kithrak Voss. Voss? Je still Kithrak, Knight Supreme. An honorable warrior, Vlakith's finest. I am impressed. He wanted your head, yet it remains firmly atop your shoulders. A lesser woman would be adorning the road as a shredded corpse. As I'd expect, ancient Githyanki symbols adorn the artifact's face. We can deliver it to a Kithrak or Varsh at the first opportunity. Now, to the point. The creche is not far from where you met Voss. We must go there immediately. Unless, of course, you'd rather sprout waxy tendrils where there were no tendrils before. Keep me at your side, and I will invoke protocol. It is my people's duty to aid infected Githyanki. Had I been traveling with you, we might have avoided the Knight's fury. Wait. These markings. Tirsu script scratched in the ground. A crash must be nested in the temple below. We must go there at once. Githyanki writing. Every word a wheel. Every letter is spoke. The most powerful texts are engraved in slate. Some so ancient, only the most erudite Gish can read them. Very well, you may lead. But if we stray too far that our chance is lost, I'll make my way there alone. Sweet, sweet blessing, my dear. You know, I've had nothing but trouble all day. I've been accosted, chased, insulted. Look over there. Do you see that wretched little hive? Oh, it certainly looks that way. But inside... It is swarming with brutish, stupid, rude Githyanki. Brutish and rude by your wretched standards. 
but stupid. Chucky, your charming companion would call it a crash. But it was built on what remained after the Githyanki slaughtered all of the monks. I'd call it a murderous training camp. Acutely observed on both counts. Honestly, I was doing them a favor offering to buy one of their eggs. And how am I repaid? Attacked and run off like some transient. What? No, of course not. I was merely... Well... Look, it's just an egg. The Society of Brilliance asked me to acquire one of their row so they can incubate it and, once it hatches, raise the spawn in their tradition. Please, do enlighten me. What is this tradition? The society believes a Githyanki raised in a peaceful, nurturing environment can overcome its violent nature. I'm sure your friend would agree. A Githyanki is as likely to forsake its violent nature as a gnome is to fly. You've been sipping from the same goblet as the society. Perhaps you'd be willing to help them, to prove your point. They may have chased me away, but surely the Gith would welcome a person with such sympathetic views to their crash. And once inside, you could simply purloin an egg. Steal one of Gith's own. I will slit your throat for even suggesting it. I'm not talking to you. You'll be well compensated, of course. Just bring me an egg. At last. Hatazeth! I knew I was right about you beasts! Taste my fury. Oh. 